and welcome back to the tea shed. My name is Stephanie. Today we are um, filming a video. I haven't filmed one of these in a incredibly long time and that is a tea basket video. Um, tea basket videos uh, was a concept that I created um, kind of a play on the makeup basket videos. If you've ever seen those it's where gals go through or guys shop their stash in an attempt to use up what they've accumulated. And I feel like that is such um, a valuable technique that could be applied to just a multitude of things, not just makeup, in our case tea. You could also apply it to, let's say you are a planner person and you accumulate a lot of planner things, or you accumulate a lot of, um, uh, I don't know, just random things that you really want to enjoy or even mugs, teaware. Let, let's say there's some pieces that you love and you're simply not using and so you want to get the most out of that and so what you do is you um, pull out a couple things that you intend to use solely for whether it's a week, whether it's a month, whatever duration of time and that just helps you to really focus on the, the joy that those particular items bring in this case, it's tea, um, maybe ones that I've had a while and they really need to be gone through. Like I said, I went through a bunch of things today. I actually purged some things that were really old. Um, I have a bunch of things to donate, a bunch of things to take into work and put into the teacher's lounge in case somebody wants some tea. And just a bunch of kind of trying to clear out what I could. I still have more tea than... I could probably drink in a lifetime. I have more tea that a nor than a normal person should have, um, but I'm just trying to weed out some things. Um, but anyway, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a tea basket this week. I really want to get through some of this stuff. And so I was like, I'm going to film it. So my tea basket, this is a tea caddy. Well, I called it my tea caddy. I should have called it tea basket, I guess. Um, but this is from 31. I've had it for a very, very long time. And on the sides, um, I just have some uh, disposable tea bags. And this is a, a tea fuser that goes into like a, a travel thermos. The nice thing about this, though, is it's great for travel. So you can put all of your travel mugs down in here and then set it in the floorboard or your car and it doesn't move around very much. Um, but currently I'm just using it for my tea basket. I had a Diet Coke in there too. I don't, I think I grabbed it when I left the house, but I've been out in my tea shed working on graduate work. So, um, it, I've been out here for a while. Um, let's jump right in. So some of these things that they're in no way like to say that I don't like them. It's not that. They may just be reaching the end of the package and I want to use it up to clear out space. So first thing, this is Cinnamon Hearts from David's Tea. This is one I actually, uh, like I said, I was going through um, a, a lot of tea. I have tea stored in big Rubbermaid tubs. And so I was going through some teas and I thought, well, gosh, I don't remember this one. And that happens because I just get so much tea that it smells amazing. And I love cinnamon and tea. I love it. I, the, which tea is it? David's Tea had a cinnamon chai. And it was very similar to kind of like Maharaja chai from Tibana. I drank through that one. I wish they would bring that one back. But this one smells so heavenly. And I'm like, why am I not drinking this? So I pulled this one out to drink. I'll probably be sad when I drink it all up. Um, purple chocolate from Just Tea. I only have, I only have a little bit left. This tea, this tea is the best chocolate tea I have ever had, and I've tried a lot of teas. I have a review up on this. Also, um, I know. Oh, what's her name? Lapsing with Lene, I think is like her Instagram channel. She did a video on it. A lot of people have. Don't just take my word for it. It is an incredible 
chocolate tea. It, it has this just dark chocolate decadent flavor. You would think you're having hot chocolate. Um, I have, I have another unopened package of this, but I had a little bit left. This is one I purchased the unopened one they sent to me, but I was like, well, I'm going to use the rest of this. Um, the, oh, and I, I think I have a code. You don't have to use it, but I, I can remember if I remember, I'll put it down in the down bar. I think it's 15% off. Um, I saw fire belly tea. They just released a chocolate tea and it said that it was kind of like a dark chocolate decadent tea. And so I, as soon as I saw the email, I was very intrigued. I knew I had wanted to purchase more product from them. And so I ordered and it was interesting because I got an email shortly thereafter and it said, well, um, sorry, my son is like calling me. Sorry. My son was calling and the, yeah, anyway. Um, but anyway, so I ordered the tea from fire belly as soon as I saw it. And so then I got an email and it said, since you were one of the first people to jump on board with this tea, we'd love to send you a free mug respond. And I was like, well, yes. And so then I order, I told him I wanted the teal mug, but then when I saw the order, it looked like they sent me the green mug, which is fine because then I was like, well, I'll give the green mug to my husband or take it to school to use. And then I, I wanted the teal one for in here. And so then I ordered a, the teal one with, um, there's a tea with cardamom I wanted to try and then a tea with vanilla. So I have a, three other teas coming. So we're going to review those. Um, the Earl Grey was wonderful. I love that tea. So I'm hoping these others will be just as good. Okay. So dark chocolate <laughs> or purple chocolate anyway. Next up, I have a bunch of teas from Simpson and Vale. I just pulled one out. Darjeeling Organic Earl Grey. I go through Earl Grey like crazy. I, I because I drink it every single morning. Uh, so I go through a lot of Earl Grey. And so um, this is natural bergamot with light and flavorful taste of Darjeeling. Darjeeling is kind of the champagne of tea. It's very mild and smooth. Um, I think I like this one, but it's just, I was sitting there. I'm like, we're going to we're going to sip it down. Um, next up, this is Marjorelle Mint. I want to say this came from, oh, what's the name of that company? It's the one that does the Tiffany tea and the name escapes me. I don't think I've tried this. And so I was like, well, and I love mint tea. So I'm going to give that one a whirl. I like to have mint teas like at night um, before I go to bed. Next up, I had this Joseph's tea. I think this came in a sips by box. It's a cinnamon orange black tea. And so I thought that'd be a great one to use up. This one I've had for a while, pistachio and cream cookie. This is from the now defunct um, quarter of tea. They had some amazing teas. Um, however, I think that the it was a very small independent or operation and the owner um, just had a lot of other things going on. So they no longer do tea, but um, yeah. So I had this one to use up. It's a flavored white tea. Uh, steep and sip. I have Charles Gray. This is a bergamot. I, I just, I know I'm going to sip up the Earl Grays. That's why I pulled these out. This will probably end up being maybe a multi-week tea basket. And then we can cut a report back and do the new tea basket. Um, I threw in here too. Um, I subscribe to the 52 teas tea subscription. So these are the teas I got for the month. I think I already drank through one of these. Um, maybe not. I might've left that one in the house. So, uh, these are ones I'm just sipping through the, um, there were a couple that surprised me. The pineapple cumin, such a good tea, such a good tea. So I have those. Uh, I had some teas from Happy Turtle Tea from their Tea of the Month Club that I had subscribed to. 
couple of these I haven't even ordered um, opened yet. Um, so their teas are kind of like fandom blends. This one is a black tea rooibos, an Animal Crossing inspired black tea blend. I love the packaging. So I just thought, well, we're going to have tr go through those. I had this open T2 Hot Day Chai. I love this one. This is such, such a good tea. I do have it in a, actually, I think I have a double bag. The problem with T2, I wish that they came in resealable, resealable bags, but they don't. Um, but I, this one's been open a while, so I thought, well, we'll use through it. It makes an amazing latte. Kusmi Tea. This is Anas no, is this Anastasia? No, this is just a, their basic Earl Grey. Poland blend number 18. I love Kusmi tea. This one I've had for a little while, so I thought, well, we'll use that up. A couple more. Um, this is from Jade Leaf Matcha. It's their matcha latte mix. I find it's very sweet on its own. Um, but I find this one to be a smidgen too sweet, so I do like to mix it with like a plain matcha but when I make my smoothies I don't do smoothies every morning I'll do them like every other day um I don't add that one because that's just that's just too sweet with the, the um fruit but what do I have in here I have some these are ceremonial grade matcha packs from jade leaf these um I threw in here because I'm like those are great to put into my smoothies I have like a a green smoothie powder, protein powder, and it's got kind of like the ground up, um, like vegetable, green vegetable in it. But I like to add um, like a, a matcha spoon or two of matcha to my smoothies. I just, yeah, I, you don't really taste it, but I feel like it is kind of like that antioxidant boost. Um, lastly, I, well, not lastly, but I have this tin of happy birthday tea from Adagio and I've had it in here to drink up. I have, oh, this chai matcha from Tea Forte. They actually have really good matchas. And the last one was this Tenzo matcha. I have tons of Tenzo matcha. And so this, uh, again, it will be good to mix into smoothies or to cut the sweetness of this with. Um, I think, oh, I had one more, Savoy Tea Birthday Cake. That one was almost empty, so I thought I'd use that up. I think that's it. Um, I think that as tea lovers, and especially as you become very immersed in tea, and the, the amount of tea offerings are incredibly overwhelming. There's so many tea companies and so many teas, and they all sound good. Before you know it, you've accumulated a tremendous amount of tea. Um, and so it's very daunting to look at that and say like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get through this? So I do like the tea basket. I feel like it's an effective way to try to use up some of the things you have. Um, but let me know if you guys do a tea basket. I'm always, I just always love to... Um, see what other people are doing or if you have another way that you something else you do to use up your tea I would love to know leave a comment below otherwise we'll see you next time right here on tea leaf project bye